Steps again. Then steps and gives it to Alexander and they open up. Ben was the most outrageous personality. He had he was the life of the party. He had this shining light about him that um, just emanated. Penrith claim their first ever title, the Winfield Cup of 1991. That feeling of invincibility, that's a trait in young men. They don't think of consequences and they just don't think it will happen to them. And Alexander. Alexander gets away from some... We had our premiership um, blazer presentation that night at the club. Ben had gone off with some other players and they'd gone, uh, they were heading down to a nightclub. You know, I almost had him staying with me. Yeah, you know, while I wanted him to stay, I thought, mm, you know, he's with his mates. So I didn't press. I sort of look back now, and those first couple of years after um, Ben's crash, you know, I, I don't, I don't know how I played. I just. It was like I was on autopilot. So I just, it was muscle memory. I just did what I knew, but I did it without emotion. Um, we're 27 years on. You know, I look back now and I think, how long did it actually take me to get to being like someone, like a normal person? Like it, it took years. Penrith was such a close knit, big country town at the time. It's a bit of an out-of-body experience. I don't think anyone really knew how to act or react. I don't think it was just a footy team or just me being a really good mate. And I think the whole community felt like that. You go out and play in front of 20,000 people, it has an impact on how you think about yourself and uh, the invincibility and your self-esteem. And Drink driving was something that we just did. If we were getting home from the club late at night, we'd drive home. It's just from that day on, it just was an absolute no. It was just... You understood the consequences, and I'd never got in a car being under the influence of alcohol again. Now, there's no greater situation than asking your mate to step out of a car and have a rest, get a cab, put the phone down. You're saving lives. It's not an easy thing to drum into their heads that what they do on the road not only impacts them, but impacts families and communities. Ben wasn't a reckless type person, but he, he was that one time, you know, that one time cost him his life. <laughs>